I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile and we are speaking with Mike McKibben who is the Teacher of the Year for 2015 for the Natomas Unified School District. Welcome Tim. Great Thank Mike. You. Thank so you. tell us about yourself, tell us where you teach and tell us what you teach. Well I'm a teacher at Intercom High School with the Natomas Unified School District. Uh, I started in Natomas when we only had one high school, Natomas High School, and mm -hmm. I started when that school opened on its current campus and then when we uh, grew, the Natomas community grew. Uh, we opened our second uh, high school in 2004 and I was part of that founding group that, that uh, migrated over and been there ever since. And, and what, are, what are the subjects that you tackle? I teach uh, American government, uh, AP, U.S. government and politics. I'll be teaching an early college world history class this year and I'm also the coordinator for the California Early College Academy which is a partnership with American River College and the AVID College Readiness System. Explain how that works and, and what it does for the students and the family. The uh, SICA is it's what it's referred to, California Early College Academy, the acronym. Um, uh, years ago, uh, I, I came on the statistic that statewide, 70% of students that graduate at California high school that go to a local community college, 70% don't place at college level. Mm -hmm. And then the Natomas community was a little bit higher. And when I uh, um, finished my contract in U.S. Army, I went to Riverside Community College in Southern California and I took those same placements that our students take today mm -hmm. and I didn't place because my mission in the Army wasn't a lot of book learning. And so having American River College share a city street with us, I started to think that after about a semester of remedial classes with Riverside Community College, um, I was college ready. And what if we developed a program where we took best practices that the community college is using to get their students college ready and work that into a program where we start that in ninth and 10th grade. And then if the students place at college level, they can begin taking college classes in 11th and 12th grade and possibly graduate high school with a year or more of UC CSU transferable units, all free of cost. And so this idea started to generate and we connected with American River College and immediately they said you got to have AVID college readiness involved so we connected with the Sacramento AVID uh, regional director Grace Souser at the time and we put together this program and this is our second year and it's taken on like wildfire. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really exciting. We target that AVID kid. We're not going after uh, the, the IEB super high. Well, well explain what the AVID kid is. The AVID kid yeah. is um, uh, underserved group of students in the university system. The avid kid is someone that has the ability, has the, the desire, uh, but maybe doesn't have the tools in their toolbox to be successful. Mm -hmm. So we go after that kid and it could be a kid that's getting D's or C's, uh, but they have this willingness, this desire, this aptitude, and we, we go after that student and that is also the student that maybe if they're not in the program when they go to a community college, they don't place and they're taking remedial classes. So that's our target target group. But with those kids, you're, you're teaching them the skills they need to get to that level. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the college, the California Early College Academy received input. We, we planned this for years from deans at American River College, from administrators at American River College, from professors and instructors, as well as input from AVID leadership, uh, plus my own experiences coming out of the Army and, and taking those classes and my experience with the community college. And we built that program on how and what to teach to get that student ready for college. And our goal is that every single early college student passes the proficiency tests when they graduate. And then the, the cream is that you can begin taking college classes if you pass the proficiency tests before you graduate. Mm -hmm. And the school district will pick up the tab for the textbooks and the college will pay for the tuition. And the advantage to the student is graduating from high school with some college units. Exactly. Which exactly. Makes, makes graduation uh, from college a little bit quicker. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And you're establishing a real college transcript. So it's not like some special high school hybrid thing. It's you have a college transcript alongside your high school transcript. And those units can transfer to UC and CSU schools. So you, you teach government. 
Yes. And so uh, I know that we we've, we've heard a lot about you know young people not being aware of you know, how the government works oh, and yeah. and and their rights as as citizens. And so, what are some of the things that you kind of really emphasize in your class? for the students to let them know about what their rights are in this country and what they're guaranteed at, and, and the importance of voting and all those types of things. Well, when you enter my classroom, it's like a 4th of July parade in there. Uh, the first thing the students do is like they, they look in awe. And I got that idea while watching an HGTV remodel show with my wife and the guy was talking, but do you have a theme and you know, does it connect with what you do and how you want the atmosphere? And I, I really try my best and kind of the reason why I think I'm here is I really try to establish rapport with students and, and convince them that I'm, as they would say, real. And then once I earn that trust, I connect with them. I was like, it is important to be an engaged, productive citizen. You know, it is important to stay up on the issues that are facing your local community, your state, the nation. It is important important to know your rights but also your duties and responsibilities and it is really important to be an educated voter to to know yourself to know where you stand on the issues whatever that might be and then to pick representatives whether that's a local school board city council mayor governor state assembly senator president and vote for that individual that you like that person's going to best represent me and i really try to instill that in my students and we had success matter of fact the the student that will introduce me uh, at the banquet on the 15th uh, she came up to me and she said wow you know i I really like this stuff and she applied for an internship at the state capitol and got it mm -hmm. and she's you know getting involved and I have students that will email me saying I registered the vote you know I'm gonna vote and so it's really exciting to get that feedback so do you think it's once they finally have someone explain to them kind of on the, on their level why this is important you think that's what makes it catch fire for them that's right uh, if you just have them read the textbook and just do a bland lecture and they're really not gravitating to it intrinsically you know some of them do you know but to really connect them to place them what I like to do is tell stories like okay let's what does it mean to have rights and to make up little stories and actually place the students in these different scenarios students even if they're seniors they still love a good story and then you connect the student to the material and then the results I'm seeing on testing is that they're getting it and so that's kind of how I approach the topic. Because the kind of the, I guess the old lecture, take the quiz, you know, and then move on, um, it, it's not working as well as it once did. Mm -hmm. uh, but I find stories and really getting the students involved in it, having them really examine what issues matter to you, and then let's, let's talk about those issues. Just not one way me to you, but Let's have a conversation about these issues and then connect that to the material, like citizenship or rights and duties and responsibilities. That's what clicks. That's what seems to work. So what motivates you as a teacher? Well, I, uh, my dad was a counselor and uh, he served in the Army in the Korean War. And he and I at some points in time were at odds. And I said, you know, I'm going to be the opposite of him. Well, I ended up joining the Army. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was stationed uh, during the first Gulf War in southern Turkey, and we were flying our missions into to northern Iraq. And, and there was some downtime, and I started to think, do I want to make the military my career? And I said, well, no, I don't think so. But reenlistment was coming up, and I had already been the training to become a non-commissioned officer, so there was a little bit of a pressure. Uh, I met my wife, and we were married, so, you know, having a livelihood. But then it kind of hit me. I did a self-inventory just right out there in the southern Turkey near Diyarbakar. And I assessed myself and I was, came to the discovery, I think I'm built for a teacher. And then when I researched it and started to inquire and then after I got out, and it just kind of took on a life of its own. And I'm real happy in the classroom. You know, every once in a while you'll have, hey, have you ever thought about being a principal or whatever? I'm like, right now, I'm still excited about being in the classroom. I think I will be for my entire career. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how that came about. But yeah, I was just thinking, what am I going to do with my life? Well, you found it. I did. And I'm excited and I'm getting ready for a new year. Yeah. And right now you're the teacher of the year for the Natomish Unified School District, which is quite an honor. That's, yeah, I'm really uh, excited and honored about that. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we appreciate you taking the time to, to speak with us. We've been speaking with Mike McKibben, who is the Teacher of the Year 2015 for the Natomas Unified School District. Thanks. Thank you.